how to you upload image in your mongodb database here i was make one uh, ui part like uh, this one and here when you click on the here just select one of the image and just open op click on the open and here display and click on the upload here giving the uh, message image uploaded successfully and click on here now here see one image is added like this types of a i was created let's go on the vs code editor and how, how you can create all this and save the image in mongodb database let's see it let's go on the vs code in vs code editor just go on the here top section this top menu here and open the terminal section after that here let me just drag this top section and after that here i will just say I will use the NPS create react app you can use any other framework like a nest.js or wit now here I will just type npx create react app after that I will give the folder name here I will give the this is my front end UI part for that here I will give the client and press enter now this installation is started it takes some time to install approximately one minute one to two minutes now this will be installation is completed i will back again depend on your internet connectivity how this will be installed Now installation is completed now here let's start this app for that first of all i want to open the my this client folder let me just give the client and after that here just type npm to start and here you can see here uh, one folder is created client and here all this folder and file is available and this and here you can see we work on the in the src section all this folder and uh, this is a public folder inside this one html file and this kavicon you can change your icon also now uh, here all th this is a css file app.js and this app is start take some time to start start after that let me just go on the vs code and here uh, in the app.js file let me just drag this bottom and here i will first of all go and now i will delete all this uh, code from here to here and here i will create a fragment tag and here i will just type react app mm, r will be capital react app like this types of a and now let's see and let me refresh this my page okay now here you can see this is a react app is here and now i will just go on the app.css file and i will delete press the control a and delete all this file and yeah now any changes no changes now here first of all i will create a one uh, u user interface for the upload image and for that let me just come here and here app.js file here i will just give the uh, one due class name uh, class name and here i will give the image or i will give the image container like this types of a and inside this i will use the form tag form let me just give the form and inside form i will just create a div one label label yeah, label and inside label i he, here i will just give the and now inside here i will just inside label here and first of all i want to also pass a props 
attribute instance HTML for here I will give the upload image like this types of a and inside this I will create a one div tag class name I will give the uh, box like this types of a upload box like and after that inside this div tag I will give the input type is equal to here I will give the type will be the file after that here I will give the ID ID will be ID will be exactly same name which I was given here this label just copy this and here I will paste this after that here just let me just give save and now here now here you see in the UI part like this type of a display now let's uh, design this with the CSS for that I will just come here and just copy the this image container after that I will come here here in the app.css first of all I will give the all the element of HTML will be box sizing border box after that I will give the body and body first of all background color background color will be the it's f4 f6 f8 like this margin will be zero and here I will add a little bit padding approximately 10 pixel and here I was forget it like this now let me just check like this little bit gap is created here now I will make a one container here inside here uh, for that uh, I will just paste the, this image container and inside I have this form tag and here I will give the width width of the form tag is approximately 400 and height will be approximately 300 background color I will give the, this background color will be the hashtag ECEEF2 like this types of way and here not display we can give the for now I will give the red Let me just see I was just mistake inside the image container I have a form tag just copy this here I will just go after that here I will give and refresh this it's not taking let me just check on the my code uh, here is all things okay and in the app.js okay here I was given the class name here I want to put the e and now check here see this form tag now I want to make this in the center for that here here I will give the margin margin auto now see it will be coming in the center and now I will little bit giving the border radius approximately 5 pixel and here I will give the padding it it will be padding will be approximately 5 pixel now inside this I will have uh, this uh, upload box let's copy this and here I will come now let's design the, this upload box and here I will give the this uh, uh, here instead of giving the background color here I will give the border let me just give the border 2 pixel solid and here I will give the this uh, royal royal blue border like this type of now here here you can see like this type of a border is here so let me just increase the border width here I will get two pixel yeah now after that here this upload box here I will give the width 100% height 100% like this type of a okay once again after that I will just give the display flags justify content center alignment item center now he instead of displaying like this uh, choose file here I will display the one uh, icon for that let me just go here and here just type react icon here just copy this 
and after that go on the VS Code editor here I will uh, open the site terminal and here first of all I want to go on the client folder and after that just paste this and press enter now this installation is completed let me drag this bottom and here I will uh, put the one upload image for that uh, here let me just search upload upload icon sorry for that uh, I think which icon is perfect I will just copy this one and after that here app.js and here first of all I want to import this icon import md cloud from react icon slash md and just copy this icon after that here I will just paste this ok let me just copy again here paste and now let's go on the browser and here see ok I will just refresh this page and here you can see here display the icon now let me just hide this input box because I was using the label when I was click any of anywhere in the box automatically this will be firing the this input box that's why I was using the this label tag. Now let me just uh, this input box uh, in that app dot uh, CSS. Here I will give uh, input scroll type type is called to file. Here I was given the file and here I will give the display none. Yeah, now let me just check ok now see it will be gone and when I just click here it will be opening and here you can see this mouse cursor is not a pointer for that here I will give the cursor pointer now see this mouse cursor is changed now here I will change this color and increase the size of the this icon for that here I will give the font size it will be approximately 40 pixel and yeah, a little bit more I will get the 50 and 60 yeah now it's okay and now I will give a change the background color for that here I will get the background here background color will be the like uh, that uh, here instead of giving here I will just directly give the background color here here uh, now I will just drag this and here I will get the background color will be EC EEF2 little bit different color and now I will just give the little bit uh, here all this little bit shadow background for that giving the shadow box shadow 10 pixel 10 pixel 20 pixel or you can give the 10 pixel RGB after that here I will give the 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 point 5 like this and why this shadow is not coming well, here I was not doing the pixel now see like this types of a shadow is coming and we will do this 5 this also 5 and here I will give the 3 yeah like this types of a and here instead of giving this shadow a border we can just hide this and check ok like this types of a it will display and now here below this I will add one button for the upload uh, image to this uh, backend part for that uh, 
here i will go in the form tag here i will give the button and upload like this and this for uh, this image will be in the center uh, this button will be in the center inside the form tag for that here i will go and below this form button and i will give the margin photo width 100 pixel 100 pixel instead of giving the this uh, margin auto i will give uh, which i was given uh, uh, form tag form tag here i will just add display flex justify content center like this type of a and flex direction let me just add flex direction column and here i will add uh, instead of this i will just give the alignment item center and justify content center now i want to make this button in the bottom for that i will just give the uh, here margin top auto like this type of but here i think something is mistake from the my ui let me remove this flex and check okay now i will make this center for that uh, margin auto and here i will give the height of this 40 pixel now let me just check okay it will be much more 30 pixel yeah now giving the border mm, border none and after that i will give background color its background color will be yeah db f1c like this type of a and after that i will just give the border radius 5 pixel and here uh, i think little bit i will make a top section here or we can give the also center depend on you you can use anywhere or here i will just make a one container here i will give the due class name class name and here i will give the ptn and after that here i will just paste this and this is a btn class name for up for that and here nothing is changing before this form tag here i will give the dot btn and display flags display flags and after that justify content center now see this button is coming here and here i was given the now i will little bit down for that uh, uh, here i will give the position relative and top it will be proxy 20 pixel like this types of coming and now here when i just click and select uh, any of the image uh, it will be display here for that here i will go and i will upload a here this input box for that here i will make a one function const handle upload image like this type of a after that here i will make a one function and this is on change method 
just copy this and put on the this input uh, input tag here i will give the on change and here i will just call this function here i will pass uh, parameter e and here i will give the first of all const file after that first e dot target dot file and i want to first file now let me just uh, console console dot log file now let me just open the inspect also for checking that this file is uploaded or not when i just click here and select this file load here and let me just open okay here you can see it will be showing me the uh, all the file uh, file detail like the picture all this uh, and when i was again select now see here again uploaded now i want to also show the image here also for that uh, first of all i will convert this image in the form of a base 64 for converting this here i will make one function const image let me just show image base 64 you can give any name depend on you and here i will accept the image like a file after that here i will give the cons and reader after that here i will use the new file new file reader and after that a reader dot read as a data url and inside this i will just pass my file after that here i will use the const data and here i will use the promises new promises and here this promise accept to uh, resolve and reject like this type of way and here i will pass call by function first one will be, i will give the reader dot onload if this function is unloaded and then resolve dot i will give the resolve and here inside this i will just give the uh, this reader reader dot result if this file is upload uh, all loaded if some error in the uploading for that here i will give the reader dot on error and i will just use the here i will pass a one parameter error and reject and just give in the error message now this will be done now here i will uh, return a return this data like this type of a yeah now all this part is done after that i will just call this function here and this function is uh, i will use async operation for that uh, here i will give the async and after that here let me just remove this console and const image basic Im only give the image after that here i will use call this function before that i will use a wait image base 64 and inside this i will pass a this image file and now let me just console dot log this image now now this image is converted in the form of base 64 base 64 is a one type of a string format of images now let me just refresh this file and now here i will click and select one image and open and here now see here giving the one uh, string format this is a uh, known as image base 64 this image base 64 is a one of the string format of the images like this now i want to also display the image here also for that i will make a one uh, state to store the this image const uh, img set img and after that i will use state and here i will give the string 
uh, in this time empty just copy this image first of all i will set the image yes just copy if uh, this image is converted in the form of a base 64 after that i will set in the use state like this types of a I remove this console and this img state i will just copy if this image is available then display the image if not available then display this icon for that here i like that type of a uh, condition i want to do for that here i will first of all give the img if this image is available then i will use the img src and after that here i will use the img i will pass a string format and if not available i want to display this icon just cut from here and here i will paste this now let me just check refresh this page and here giving the error is use state i was not imported this use state i think just here first of all i want to import make sure that use state import from the react tray now let me just go and refresh okay by default already refresh and here i will click now upload select image and click here now here uh, no image is display let me just twice another okay now see this image is very much i was not designed let me just design this uh, where is in that upload box have a img text now where is upload box i will just give the upload box inside this img here i will give the height will be 100 percent like this type of will be display and i will and again click and select another image It takes some time to change or we can refresh this and now i will select now see it will be showing the image again okay like this types of a image is uploaded now i will uh, the, all this image i will save in the mongodb for that uh, i want to create my mongodb server and all this function for that uh, let me just close this part this client folder and here let me just drag this top section and i want to outside this uh, let me just here i will give the outside the, this client folder here i will give the create one folder which name will be the server for the backend part outside this not in the client folder server in this time it will be empty first of all i will go here in the server folder after that here i will get the npm in it okay i was given the mistake okay by default it will be accepted but it will be wrong i will just give the let me just first clear this now here i will just type npm init and press enter now see here asking me the package name i will just press enter 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 like this types of a for that here you can see this package.json file is created and in this file uh, let me just track this first in this file here you can see giving me the name of the folder and version description and here by default this index.js for that i want to create a here file index.js index.js and here i want to give the one uh, for the start section i will give the command start and it will be run mm. node index.js and here giving the error here i will give the comma and uh, again one by one i want to start again when i was changes anything in the my 
index.js file i want to again run this uh, application for that uh, instead of like th that using we use the node mon here i will just type npm i node mon and press enter dependency section and here i will just give the comma and here i will give the dev after that here i will give the okay on uh, node node mon after that index dot yes like this type of way and now i want to uh, install all the packages like uh, express mongoose and ports all this npm packages which are used in this create to create a backend for that uh, let me just up this and here i will just install npm i first of all i will use the mongoose for the backend uh, to connect uh, our uh, backends with the database and express to create a server and course to cross the platform to share a data now i'll just press enter now installation is completed and inside there let me just drag this bottom and here in the packet.json side in the dependency section you can check this express mongoose and uh, known mon and this course now let's go on the here index.js first of all i want to create uh, my x import the express and here i will give the require and here i will just type express after that const mongoose require mongoose const course require i will just do the course like this type after that just const app here i will give the express express and here just call this after that i will give the app huge and here i will give the course like this type of way and i will run the my application some port number for that uh, let me just give the here top section here const port and here i will sometime what happen if you deploy your application in uh, some other uh, platform for that here by default has a uh, some port for that uh, this port for that using uh, that port we can use the process process dot env dot port number if in that platform no port number is available for that you can create your own 8080 like this and after that here i will just give the app dot listen and here i will just give the port number and here i will pass a call by function console dot log and here i will give the server is running at here i will give the port number port number and here little bit space now let's start this application here i will give the npm run dev now see this uh, server is running after that uh, to connect uh, our backend with uh, front end side for that we want to some uh, some things to uh, share a data for that we can create a api plot here give the api dot get and here i will just give the first one is root and here request dot response this is a callback function here i will give the response and json here i will just pass a data message uh, server is running like this type of for checking this server in the your browser for that just go 
and open this new tab after that here i will just type 8080 and press enter now here giving the message server is running now this will be done after that now i want to create a schema for use uh, and uh, to connect our this backend with the database also for that let me just go here and here i will just give the mongoose dot connect and here i will just pass in my url for that url i will i will use open the my mongodb compass here i will not using atlas here i was using the my local system mongodb database for that the uh, gui part i will use the mongodb compass and now let me just copy this uh, url and here i will just paste this and after that here i will just give the image is after this i will give the my database name image base 64 like this types of a i was given 64 and if this will be connected with the database uh then here then like this types of mes message will be coming console dot log connected to db if some error for that i will here I give the catch block and here i will give the error console dot log and so this error like this types of a will be coming and here you can see now here giving the error uh this now it will be coming okay okay uh, what error is coming this check okay here like this okay i was here mistake let me just delete this first and inside this i will just pass a callback function and here i will pass a one parameter error and now i will just give the console dot log error now let me just check okay now server is running and let's uh, see connect to db is printing or not it take some time uh, uh for that uh, now here you can see the giving me the error uh, why error let me just see mongodb server error like this connection is not connected uh, sometime what happen uh, here i was given the local host that's why it will not come in. here instead of giving the like this types of way i will give the 127.0.0.1 like this types of way and now let me just check now see here giving the message connected to db instead of giving like this first of all we want to connect to mongodb database after that i will uh, run the server for that uh, like that for running let me just cut from here and here i will cut and below this i will just paste this and here first of all i want to connect this with uh, my mongodb database for that here i will just paste this now first of all connect to mongodb database after that this server is running like this types of a having now let's create a schema for storing the data for that here i will give the const schema and after that give the mongoose dot schema like this types of a and here i will just give the only single schema like image and this image will be in the form of a base 64 now this part will be done schema now let's create a model const uh, image model after that here i will give the here i want to give the new and here i will give the mongoose dot 
model and after that uh, model and here i will just give the model name here i will give the image image and after the by default mongodb add the yes and here i will give the schema now let's this view i was created the model now let's uh, once again here disconnected now let's go on the here mongodb compass and connect this here automatically display see here display the our database name and inside this this is a collection image in this time uh, in the collection name no data is available now this section is done now we want to create a one api post api for the upload the image for that here i will give the app dot post and after that here i will just give the uh, like this types of a image and this is a post method if you want to give here some name you can give like upload like this types of a i was given and here i will give the request dot response and after that here i will just say console dot log and request dot body like this types of a now i will hit uh, to this api and send the image hour for that let me just go on the in the front end side app.js and here where uh, okay i was not created one function here i will create on click or i will give the on submit like this type of a on click and handle handle submit like this type of a i was given the my function name just copy this and here i will just const handle submit like this type of a here and here pass a one parameter because what happened now let me just first of all show you what happened when you click on the this upload section now see this page will be refreshed that's why here i will give the e pass a parameter e and you can pass any parameter for convention mostly that's why i always pass e prevent default and like this type of a now he now check where is my chrome browser and let me refresh this and now i will click here see now my page is not refreshed let me just close this and let me just hold the, uh, this font is little bit bold to look better for that i will just go on the app.css and where is my button here i will give the font weight will be 550 Now see it will be look good and here this mouse cursor is also changing cursor pointer yeah now it will be perfectly fine and now let's go on the here and where is where is app.js here uh, when i just click on uh, call this handle submit function then one api is called to sending a uh, my image to the backend for that this function i will make async and here i will just give the const uh, response after that i will give the wait and this will be the fetch method here i will give the my api name uh, url for that let me just copy this localhost 8080 and after that i will give the my api post name will be the upload just copy the in point name and here i will just give the uh, object and inside object first of all i want to define uh, my method will be the post and after that here i will just pass my body this body i will pass my data for that in the form of a json dot stringify and here i will pass my image and this image in the form of a string instead of like that i will pass i will make a one object img img like this type of it and after that uh, i will accept in uh, response 
data weight and res dot json now just console dot log data i will just uh, log the my response now let me just check uh, when i was upload the one image select image okay here image is not i think this is a not image which was another image okay this one this is mp4 uh, this is a video that's why it will not not come here let me just select image and here so and when i just click on the upload and let's go on the here and inside the here you can see in the back end side uh, which i was uh, console this request dot body and here giving the undefined this is giving the undefined because when i want to accept data in the form of a json for that here i want to define app dot huge and here i will give the express dot json like this type of way i want to define now let me just send again and here give me the fail to fetch okay no problem let me just refresh this and here just select this image I think image is not selected. Okay, selected. It takes some time to load because our file executor on the reader parameter is one. Okay, it takes some time to upload, uh, convert this image in the form of a base64. For that, I want to also make this base64 also in the form of a async. Let me just give the async, and here I will use the weight like this type of way yeah. now let me just uh, and this will be outside this box for that uh, uh, where i was use app.css image here i will give the width also 100 percent now see it will be in the box and when i select another image let me just check yeah, now this image is changing now when i was click on the upload and this image is uploaded or not and here in this time empty object is coming and this here you can see little bit gap uh, let me remove also this gap um, here i was giving the padding 5 pixel let me remove yeah and here i will give the border radius 5 pixel and overflow hidden like okay here here and also i want to make my image Yeah, now let me just select this my image yeah now this image and when i just click on the upload here okay this, in this time empty object is coming okay why this empty object is coming um, i was not sending a data uh, i was using a fetch and method will be the post body json dot stringify i was given the this and this is image after that i was sending this image is coming empty okay why they let me just first of all remove this uh, error for that uh, this error is coming because i was not sending any response here i will send a response will be res.send and here i will give the message 
uh, image uploaded success fully i will add like this size of a and now this error, error message will be gone let me refresh and yeah let me again select image and click on the upload this ob empty object is coming because here i was not defined the how uh, this content i was in the form of a json or some other for that here i want to add a header and after that here i will just give the content type will be the application slash json like this type of a now and here i will give the just comma and now let me just go and refresh this page and here refresh again select this and open and now upload the image and let me go on the back end side and here here you can see giving the error request entity to us it means that uh, our which i was sending a data this data is very much big lit uh, more mb for that in the here i will expect here i will just give the in the express.json here i will just give the limit approximately 10 mb 10 mb uh, response we will accept like this types of a now let me just go again and refresh the page and here i was just sending the empty here see this empty is coming when this will be empty then uh, response will be not come not be go for that uh, in the index dot uh, here app dot js file where here i was sending the my response for that here i will just use the image inside the if loop if this image is not empty then also this response uh, this uh, api will in point will be hit otherwise not for that like this type of it and now let me check again when i just click on the upload and go here in the back and see now in this time not hitting now let's uh, select image and then here show the image now click on the upload and go on the here vs code now see this image is coming now i uh, this image i will save in the database for the saving in the database uh, this api api dot post here i will give the uh, first of all i will make this response async this function call by function and giving the cost const and here i will give the image equal to weight and i will just use the model or i want to create a new one for that i will use the new and user image model this one just copy this here i will just paste and inside this i will just give the my image img or after that request request dot body dot img like this types of a and now i want to save this image here i will use the const or i will directly with the weight and image dot save like this types of a and here i will just uh, give in the const this image is saved successfully and now let me just come here and refresh this page and now just type select image and now click on the upload and just go on the vs code this image now let's go on the here and here let's refresh the our this mongodb compass okay in this time okay now see here uh, this object is created but in this object 
uh, no image is available let me just see why this image is not available okay here i was sending the i image img and uh, here i was uh, because here i was created the schema image full name and here i was sending the only image let me just change this and now let's go again send the image select yeah and now click on the upload upload is successfully uh, i was not giving the message if uh, upload is successfully for that first of all i will check in the mongoose if there is a page now see image is stored in this mongo and here when this uh, image is uploaded then i will empty this one for that uh, here i will just go if this response i will just give the here index.js file i will also sending the one more which will be the success Okay, one second. It's true. And now I will just go here and here. Let me just first of copy this success. And here I will just go. Here I will just give the if uh, data dot success. Then I will just give the alert uh, data dot. Okay, one second. Data dot message. And after that i want to just empty the my state for that i will give the set image img and here inside this i was giving the img will be empty like this type of way now let's go here and refresh this page and click and just upload and just click on the upload section up image upload successfully giving the message and click now this will be empty and here when this will be empty here this image will be also displaying uh, and now let me just check this image is save or not and now let's remove this error why this error is coming and for that i will just go here app.js and below this because this is object uh, here in the set image i was using the only direct uh, string format empty string that's why i was just passes the one object like this types of a here you can see directly i was using uh, store the string format image now let me just check again once more refresh this page and click select the image and open this now upload this image image uploaded successfully yeah now see uh, image will be saved in the mongodb let me refresh this every time if you upload the image and you have open the mongodb compass then you want to refresh the this mongodb compass now here in this time see this three images save and let me just delete this one this one is empty now see all this image is saved and i want to also display all, the, all this image for that just go here and in here uh, app dot get here i will just give the image or directly i will directly get the image for that here i will just give the make this function will be async and after that i will just give the const data and here i will use the weight and give the image model and here i will use the find and that's curly bracket after that just copy this one and here i will send the image data dot data 
and here I will give the message will be the image on all image like this type of a and now I will get this image here first of all I will store all this image inside the use state for that here I will do the uh, all image set image uh, set all image after that I will give the huge state and this will be huge state will be uh, array now after that uh, when any changes in the upload section automatically it will trigger for that uh, um, I want to go on the here below this here I will create huge effect and inside this I will just give the callback function now here I will call the my api's const or instead of this I will make one function get or fetch image like this type of API I will make and the this will be in in the async operation for that here i will just give the async and yeah now i want to here i will do the const call this function below like this after that in here i will just give the const res wait and after that fetch like this type of let me just copy from here to here uh, go on the browser which i was open here i will just refresh this and here showing me the my all the images now see here all the images is showing now just copy this and after that here i will just go here give the url now const data to wait res dot json and after that i will just set uh, all image inside this data dot data like this type of okay. like here you can see in the browser which i was you message and data inside data all this uh, one array is available like this i was set now this or uh, this will be set here in the top section and now uh, i want to run again and again uh, this huge state when this data will be changing for the data will be upload for that uh, uh we want to instead of doing like that we can give when this uh, uh instead of doing in the use state we will just uh, remove this from here and here i will add this function and this function will be called when the image upload upload uploads successfully for that uh, just cut from here and image upload is successfully for that now just paste here image upload successfully then this function will be called and let's remove this one and now i will also display the this all these images for that all these images list just copy this and here below this i want to display uh, below all this here below this form tag i will just create a div class name and here I will do the all image and inside this I will just strap this all image dot I will just perform a map operation and here I will just return img src and after that I will just give the here image url for that el dot i will give the image 
like this type of a and here i will give the width will be width will be 400 pixel height also height also i will give the its height will be approximately i was given in the index.js let me just check okay okay where is where is three and uh, four hundred three hundred now here i will give the three hundred pixel here i will give the four hundred pixel now let me just check here i will just go refresh this page and here now in this time no image is available by default i want to also call this function for that here i will just give the huge effect and here i will just call one time i will just call my this function okay what are happening just copy this function and here i will paste this And why this semicolon where is semicolon is missing? Okay. Now let's go here and here let me refresh this page. Now see all the images here it is play it height it too much. Let me just uh, make a small for that. Here I will give the its uh, width will be two hundred and its height will be 170 150 all i think not 70 like this subset or we can give the 200 150 yeah. and 250 this one yeah like this type of all these images come coming here and uh, little bit more height yeah now it's really okay and now little bit this will be the bottom section for that let me just copy this and come in the app.css here i will give the image uh, margin from the top side approximately 50 pixel yeah now little bit more i will give the 100 yeah and in between them also i want to give the gap for that give the display flex and flex wrap after that i will give the gap will be 10 pixel now see in between the gap is coming and this uh, image will be i want to little bit design for that i will give the image inside this and giving the border radius 5 pixel like this and let's uh, giving the shadow also i will use the same shadow which i was given the top side now here i will just paste this and i will give the little bit slow and this will be the three this will be three and this blurry will be seven now see here all these images let's upload a one more image and click on the upload image upload successfully 
and see okay and now see one image is called and see the uh, latest image it will be go on the uh, last section we want to reverse this for that here in and here i will just give the reverse like this and here you can see this both are in the one uh, bracket now let me just check again and refresh this page now you here you see recent volume display here now let me just upload a new image this one and just select this like this on i was uploaded and click on the upload uh, image uploaded successfully and just save this now see here one image is coming now upload another image and i will upload this one Let me just check second one this one and click on the upload and now see this new image is coming like this types of way we save image in our mongodb database you can see here refresh this and we like this type of image will be saved and completed our video if this video is helpful for you please like this video subscribe the channel and thank you for the watching this video so much thank you so much for watching this video like this subscribe it and like